So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate the circumference of a tire. So imagine this is the tire and basically in one rotation, it's going to travel exactly this distance. And we basically want a formula to figure out the distance it travels per rotation. And we can basically use this for rigging car tires. So I'm just going to go to another scene with a Lamborghini like this. And I've got the body and I've got all the wheels in a null. And these are the two front wheels. These are the two back wheels. And what I did was I'm, I'm basically using two nulls, one for the steering and then one for the rotation. And it just kind of helps uh, keep the animation tidy and basically prevents any kind of rotation issues. So the rotation is happening on a different layer to the steering. It's just good practice. So I basically want to um, calculate the circumference of this tire here. So I'm just going to create a piece of espresso, And I'm just going to put it on the wheels null like that. Open up the espresso editor. Put it over here so you can see the wheel. So um, the problem with this is um, these are basically collapsed polygons and I can't actually figure out, I don't actually know what the radius of this object is. And I know the formula for a circumference is basically pi times diameter. So I basically need the diameter of this front tire. And if I look at the scale here, I've just got one. I've got some values down here. Um, so this actually is the diameter, but there might be a time when you don't have access to any kind of values and you need to get the width, height and depth of a certain object. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the front tire model. I'm going to drag and drop that into my Expresso editor. And I'm going to search for something called bounding box. It's under general. I'm just going to drag that in there. I'm going to go to my object output. I'm just going to link that to bounding box like this. And this is very useful because now we can get the kind of bounding box size of this tire. And that outputs a vector. So I'm just going to get my vector to reals converter because I'm only interested in one uh, value, which is the y height. So I'm just going to link that in. And I'm going to get a result node. And I'm just going to output Y. So that is 115.422. So now that I know the diameter, I can calculate the circumference. So I'm just going to extend this Espresso window and I'm going to look for a formula node like that. I'm going to drag and drop that in here. And I'm just going to add a value input port. So I'm just going to take that same value and I'm going to carry out a formula. And I'm just going to check use port names. So I'm literally using value one. And circumference is the diameter times pi. So all I need to type is value one times pi. And pi is basically uh, is built in. So I'm just going to click away. And I'm just going to control drag this result node, link it to the output. And now we've got the circumference. So basically, every time this tire rotates 360 degrees, this is the distance it travels. So we can basically use this. So uh, when we animate the car, it doesn't look like the tires are kind of spinning in a funny kind of way. They're actually making perfect contact with the ground. So in the next lesson, we're going to take the setup further. And thanks for watching.